What up guys, welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Christoph, you might know me from our League of Legends channel. I'll be doing some Fortnite content here for you guys while the motivation guy is out motivating more people. We all know by this point in the season that it's kinda gotten a little bit boring. Honestly, I've just been playing other games this week. We're all sitting around waiting for the next season to hit on the 20th. So in this video, we'll be covering a few cool things that you can do while we're all waiting in the meantime. But before we get started, let's do today's question of the day. We wanna know, who was your first crush? My first crush was named Heather in the fourth grade, and every time I saw her, I felt like someone was just ripping my chest open and squeezing my heart out. Sadly, she did not feel the same way, so I just played a lot of video games to numb the pain. Man, where's Keith Allen to lift my spirits? Let me know you guys' first crush, and if you're a little bit embarrassed to put their name down in the comments, just say where you guys met. Me and Keith Allen read all the comments, so do not be shy. And before we get started, if you want to prepare for being a god in the game next season, make sure to go to ProGuides.com to find a top-level coach. They're awesome. You'll be way better than your friends afterward. Got nothing to lose. All right, guys, let's get started. Finding interesting and unique creative maps to play is one of my favorite things to do. I'm going to quickly speed through a few unique creative maps that you should actually try out. Our first map is from the creative map legend himself, Donny SC. This map is a King of the Hill map inspired by Overwatch, with five different playable classes including Tank, Sniper, Support, Rocketeer, and finally Gunslinger. In this game mode, the goal is to keep control of the hill while working together with the rest of your team. This map works best with six or more players, but can still be super fun with less. Alright, let's put that code up on the screen for you guys. And as a reminder, whenever we put up these codes, they'll also be in the description link for you guys down below. Okay, our next map is going to be the Locked In 1v1s. This map is another super unique one, this time by the Reddit user named The Boy Dilly. <laughs> That's actually a pretty funny name. In this map, 16 players are placed in one arena, but it's with a twist. Whenever two players enter the same area, they become locked into that area and can only escape once one player has been eliminated. This helps a ton with avoiding third parties and other annoying stuff you'll run into with 16 players in a box, and almost seems like a type of tournament to win the match. This map works great with a lot of friends, or if you only have like one or two best friends, then it works pretty well with a playground fill match as well. Okay, here's the code. Next map, we have Aim Duel. This Aim Duel map is relatively simple. You and one friend hop into the bottom part of this sort of tunnel, both with the same weapon, into a one by one box where you just start, well, shooting. You can choose between a variety of different weapons like shotguns, ARs, and SMGs. It's a relatively simple setup, but it's still a surprisingly fun map. This is great not only as a means of practicing your aim, but it can be really fun to see how your aim stacks up against your friends or other players. Let's put the code up on the screen for you guys. These three maps are absolutely awesome and can be really enjoyable, especially if you've got some friends who you can play along with. And for all of you guys who need a friend, go find one on ProGuides.com. There's a ton of them who are really good at the game, ready to play with you right now. Shameless plug. Next up, let's move on to our second pastime in Fortnite, which is to try out some other games. This is what I've been doing recently, because to be honest, I'm just a little burnt and I'm just taking a quick break before we get to the next chapter. We all love Fortnite, that's obvious since we play it so much, but sometimes it's worth taking some time off to do something else or try out some new games. Especially since Fortnite's pretty stale, it's the best time to pick up other games where you can even learn some more skills and bring those skills into Fortnite. A lot of pro players actually start in other games like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty, and some of them even play Apex Legends on the side, and sometimes you learn some skills, bring it back over to Fortnite for the next season. Personally, I've been picking up GTA Online again, but that's obviously not appropriate for some of you. I also play some Apex Legends now, especially with the release of the new season. It's become really fun and it's a nice break from Fortnite while also kind of staying in the similar genre. A few Fortnite streamers have also started to play Escape from Tarkov, CSGO, and more. I haven't played Escape from Tarkov yet, but I've been playing a ton of League of Legends. That's my go-to game of choice. If you guys do like League of Legends or you want to try it, go to our League of Legends YouTube channel where you can find a ton of great guides to get you started. Overall, if you try out some other games, even just for a little bit for the fun of it, you'll find it'll be a great reset from Fortnite. Fortnite is great and all, but if it's the only game you guys play, then you'll find yourself burning out and getting bored of it much faster. So, try out another game. 
Okay, we all know the debate at this point, aim assist versus scroll wheel reset, faster versus smoother building, all that fun stuff. And honestly, it's difficult to tell which input device is going to be preferred in the future. Maybe aim assist stays OP and controller players continue to get better mechanically until they surpass mouse and keyboard. Or maybe controller receives nerfs and mouse and keyboard begins to reign supreme once again. Whatever happens, it's always a good thing to have a game plan. You don't want to be on the weaker input device, which is why we recommend learning the opposite input device at this time. So if you're on a mouse and keyboard, try to learn controller. Or if you're on a controller, try learning mouse and keyboard. This will give you guys that spark once again of learning the game from fresh eyes. Not only that, but you'll be 100% set in the future if one input device gets nerfed, having knowledge of being fluent in both, which will make you pretty much unstoppable regardless of which one is meta. Personally, I play on keyboard mostly, and I bought a scuff controller to try and learn it, and I'm actually becoming pretty good at it. So definitely give it a shot and let us know how it goes down below in the comments. Another thing I've started to do during this downtime is I've started grinding up my arena points. At the start of the season, I just pushed up to Champions League and I just sort of stayed there. All I really wanted was to play the Champions only events. So I had pretty much no incentive to keep grinding. But recently I've realized how cool arena can be. Depending on your level, you can even drop some insane 20 bombs if you're good enough. I've started to grind my points up, sometimes W keying and sometimes playing it smart for the end game. And I've had a pretty good time doing it. My friends and I have also play duo arena every once in a while you can't forget about duos guys you got to keep maintaining your friends so far i've been able to gain a ton of points to flex on with everyone and had a pretty fun time doing it as well and if you're not as into arena and prefer super stacked end games you can even grind out some scrims in a server like t1 scrims or atlanta scrims these can be super fun and help you guys out a ton in improving at the game. Overall, grinding some scrims in Arena can really make the game more fun and give you guys a new reason to play. Our next one is going to be VOD reviewing. So this can be pretty boring sometimes to just sit back and just watch yourself play, but it's honestly an incredible way to improve. All the pros watch their VODs, they call it watching tape, and they do it in every single sport. Basically what VOD reviewing is, is it refers to re-watching your old games or watching pro gameplay and analyzing it to find out what the pros do right and wrong and how to basically improve your own gameplay. If you're interested in learning how to do VOD reviewing, you're in luck because we've got a video on the Pro Guides channel all about VOD reviewing and how to do so. We'll throw the link in the description. Also, if you want to see some pro VOD reviews, you can also learn from awesome pros. So just go check out Tfue or Mongrel or Benji Fishy, Mr. Savage. There's tons of them you can take a look at. And if you guys are a little bit lazy and you don't want to do the VOD reviewing yourself or you don't even know what you're looking at is right and wrong, then go to ProGuides.com and just have a high level coach do it for you. It's super easy. You just go on a pro guides, you click a button and you press the VOD review button and a pro player will just look at it and tell you exactly what you did wrong in your game. All right, we've gone over five different awesome things to do while waiting for the next season. So let's quickly recap all of them. Finding some fun and unique creative maps to play with your friends or even on your own is a great way to have some fun in Fortnite and try some new things. Next is playing other games. If you're tired of Fortnite as a whole, it's never too bad to just try something else. Especially if you take Fortnite really seriously, it can be very refreshing to just take a break and try some other games. Next is learning different inputs. If you seek that feeling of learning and improving and also want to invest in your future in Fortnite, then just go try switching up your inputs temporarily so you know both keyboard and mouse and controller. So if one ever gets nerfed, you'll be all set to play the other and stay on top. Next is Scrims and Arena. If you're interested in competitive Fortnite and really want to improve as much as possible while also having a bit of fun, I recommend trying out some Scrims or maybe even grinding up your Arena points to see how high up you can get. And lastly, we have VOD reviewing. Along with Scrims and Arena, if you VOD review your competitive games, you'll find yourself improving so much faster. It's not that much fun, but trust me, it is one of the best ways to get better. VOD reviewing and grinding Scrims in Arena are both the main ways to improve. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed the video and use some of these methods to potentially have some fun and get better at the game while doing so. Let us know down below which one you plan on using. And if you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like subscribe, or maybe even share the video with some friends. Remember to tell us in the comments below what you'd like to see on the channel. We read your comments and we consider every idea. Also, be sure to check out ProGuides.com to get your coach. And once again, it's been Kristoff here with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.